Game two of the Stanley Cup Finals kicks off in Boston tonight. The St. Louis Blues trail the Bruins one game to none so far in the series. And even if you are a Bruins fan, there is one man maybe you can get behind on the Blues bench. Jess Gagne and Hannah Deneen are in Boston right now with more on this. Hey, ladies. Hey guys, yeah, during game one, we told uh, fans to look out for David Perron of the St. Louis Blues. He uh, used to play for the Lewiston Maniacs. That's right, and he got a little caught up with Tori Krug, right? Before. Yeah, people probably saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good thing he wasn't the one that Krug went after, though, or else we wouldn't be seeing him on the, <laughs> the ice tonight. Uh, so yeah, Perron played for the Maniacs in 2006 and 2007. That's the year that the Maniacs won the President's Cup, and Perron was actually their lead scorer. He mm -hmm. scored 39 goals and had 83 points in 70 games played for the Maniacs. Yeah, Krug was drafted 26th overall in 2007 by the St. Louis Blues. He played for them, then was traded to the Edmonton Oilers, then the Pittsburgh Penguins, then the Anaheim Ducks, uh, Vegas Golden Knights before now ending up back with the Blues. I caught up with Perron after the game, uh, game one, and he had only great stuff to say about his time playing in Maine and living in Lewiston. No, I mean, it's similar to where I'm from. It's, it's only three hours away, so kind of a similar winter, some snow, and um, no, I just thought the people were really nice there. They, they welcomed me. Uh, like I was uh, one of them basically uh, living uh, in the state. And uh, again, like it makes it so much easier uh, when, when you're uh, basically I was only French and I, w I wasn't speaking the language at all much. So I um, had a lot of people help me along the way on that and um, makes it a lot easier when, when we're winning. Yeah, Lewiston's probably the perfect place for a native French speaker to end up. Lots of French history, lots of French speakers there. Or and Biddeford. Or Biddeford, right? <laughs> yeah, so many places in Maine. But uh, yeah, and fun fact, yesterday was his birthday like you, Jess. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you know how I know that? Because we share the same birthday, which is awesome. All right, coming up later on New Center Maine at 6 o'clock, we're going north of the border. We're going to talk to some family and friends of one of the Bruins' most popular and probably most controversial players. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Leanne City, we'll send it back to you in the studio.